Welcome to the Two Travelers in Mexico. Hi guys, I'm Paula with Two Travelers in Mexico and I am going to be um, interviewing Maria and Glenn today for some of my questions um, that I had sent out um, because I want to be doing an ebook. And um, since we got together with them today and we had lunch, I thought that um, we would go ahead and do our interview. Okay, so my first question I want to ask you guys is where did you move from to Mexico? We moved from, uh, this time we moved from Marshall, Illinois, which is a small town in central Illinois. Uh, we lived there for the last 15 years. Prior to that, we traveled uh, the United States, Canada, and northern Mexico by RV for five years. And prior to that, we lived in San Diego for 30 years. So at what age did you guys decide to move to Mexico? Well, I was, uh, I retired from the post office at 62, so that's when we made the move. The day I retired, we put the house up for sale and what? My wife, uh, Maria, here, she was 65. I was 65, yes. Have you previously visited Mexico before you decided to move here? Uh, yes. Fortunately, Maria was born in Mexico, was born uh, so she visited Mexico until she was tw uh, 23 and moved down. Uh, but we've come down here to visit her family before, and we've also vacationed down here before. Uh, my first time in Mexico was 1976. Cancun had one hotel in 1976. So uh, we've been here quite a few times. Uh, where did you guys decide to live in Mexico? And tell me the reason why. Currently, uh, the original plan was we're going to travel around a lot of Mexico and check out lots of different places. Uh, due to the COVID-19 virus and the lockdown, we've been in Central Highlands, a little small town called Zacapu. Uh, but as soon as this is lifted, we'll probably go back to the traveling around because we haven't picked out one favorite spot yet. We've loved every place we've stayed for a month at a time, so uh, we might have a hard decision when it finally comes down to making a final decision. but. Uh, Currently, we want to visit a lot of places. And how long have you guys been here now? Uh, five months, just over five months. Why Mexico? Uh, I think Mexico for us was pretty <laughs> simple because Maria being a Mexican national and having a Mexican and dual citizenship between Mexico and the United States makes it rather simple to live here. Uh, it gives us a lot of advantages, uh, but we uh, like the people. We are absolutely in love with everybody we meet here. We have a tendency not to visit and spend time in the most touristy cities. We tend to be in places like Morelia or Zacapu, uh, Pascuaro, places that don't have tons of tourists, tons of expats, uh, no, no English spoken most of the time. Uh, and we really get along and we've been treated incredibly well since we've been here. And we, we just love being around them. The weather is amazing. And the weather is amazing. So. And Maria's family is here too. My family is, some of my family is from the area. So that makes it very nice to visit them. Any regrets? Only that we didn't do it 15 <laughs> years ago instead of going yeah. back to work. <laughs> so. only, only that, yes, uh, there's so much to see, so little time, no regrets. And my last question is, Anybody considering moving to Mexico, what advice would you give them? Uh, do, do your research. Follow along on YouTube channels and blogs that talk about different things. Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, Mexico is just as safe as any other country in the world. Uh, try to learn a little bit of Spanish to get along, especially if you're going to stay in the non-expat areas where there's very limited or no English spoken at all. Um, but fit in, get to know your neighbors. You're, if you, you get to know the Mexican neighbors live next door to you, you will become part of their family as well. Yes, so, definitely. Uh, and, and yeah, it's just passion with the Yeah, and be patient. Uh, it's, uh, it's not the U.S. It wasn't ever meant to be the U.S. Uh, it's not going to, you know, things aren't going to happen just because you think they're supposed to happen tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. It may be three days from now before it happens, but, uh, you know, you need a little bit of patience, but... Uh, it's a wonderful lifestyle. Uh, you can definitely live in Mexico for half of what you're living on in the United States. It's pretty simple. Um, so if that's what you're looking to do, and you can do it. So. 
Anything so, else you want to add to that? That's it. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys.